Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Prepare to hit lots of things with swords in Muramasa Rebirth for your Vita. It's a good game. It's always a good thing when the entire game reminds me of one of my favorite movie series, The Samurai Trilogy. Look that one up, it's worth it. Also, it helps when it's a good game. Muramasa Rebirth for the PlayStation Vita can best be described as a stylish hack-and-slash side-scrolling JRPG that you definitely want to play. This game rocks. There's, there's no other way to say it. Well, there's lots of ways to say it, but that's a nice, efficient way to say it. Muramasa Rebirth rocks. It's a gorgeous game, one that takes you on this epic journey through beautiful Japanese landscapes. You'll hack and slash and mangle your way through waves of ninjas and enemies inspired by Japanese mythology while rocking out to an incredible musical score. This is a terrific handheld game on the Vita, one that also plays really well on the PlayStation TV. There's no touch screen controls to worry about. For the most part, you just mash buttons. It kind of reminds me of Dynasty Warriors in that respect, and I love Dynasty Warriors, so that's a good thing. As I understand it, this came out a few years earlier on the Nintendo Wii as Muramasa the Demon Blade. Haven't played that version, but I've always heard it's pretty good, and it is. It's more than pretty good, it's really good. It definitely makes for a great mobile game because of the relative simplicity and the beautiful visuals look spectacular on the Vita. They look good on the big screen too, but this is a great Vita game. Definitely one of the best. But don't go into this one if you're easily put off by relative simplicity, because basically what you're doing is hacking and slashing your way through the entire game while collecting swords, leveling up, battling end bosses, and slaughtering everything that gets in your way. Personally, I think it's a lot of fun. You go into battle with three swords. If one of them is broken, switch to the next one. If that one's broken, switch to the next one. If that one's broken, use some harsh language and wait until your swords recover. It's hard to miss the art design here. It really stands out. Muramasa is very much a work of art. Your eyes will never tire of watching it, and I imagine that's what the developers were going for. It's like you're playing a painting. A badass painting. Now one of the great features in this game is collecting swords and forging new ones as you open up new sword development paths or whatever they are. When you defeat end bosses, you'll get new swords that open up barriers and unlock new parts of the map, which looks super cool by the way. The whole game looks cool. It is cool. Have you bought a copy yet? You should. At some point, the enemies start to get pretty difficult, so a bit of grinding helps, like most RPG-style games. When you reach a point you can't get past, go back a few levels, kill a bunch of things, and make sure to collect some health items. They come in really handy. Why not visit the hot springs? Why not? It's relaxing, it restores your health. Don't drink the water, though. You don't know what sketchy things have been done in there. There's two characters to choose from, but their gameplay is pretty similar. It just gives you more stuff to do, and Muramasa Rebirth is a fairly sizable game to begin with. When you buy that brand new PlayStation Vita, 
Watch my review, it's a great handheld. Make this one of the first games that you add to your collection. It's really good. And as you might expect, I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to PlayStation fanboy number one. The dog barking. Actually, the shout out and thank you goes to Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri once again. Thank you, Kelvin, who also hooked the show up with Senran Kagura for PS4 and a little game called Ratchet and Clank, which is coming onto the show soon. While you're patiently waiting for those reviews, pick this game up, it's worth it. Muramasa Rebirth for your PlayStation Vita, and it plays really well on the PlayStation TV. You'll have fun hacking and slashing, collecting new swords, and figuring out which ones have the best magic for you. They've all got different magic attacks and fancy names. It's such a cool game. Muramasa Rebirth. Highly recommended. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal. Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again. Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max. Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder. Jeff Captain Dauntless Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will. 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 Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Ship. Sink Bail! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Ship. Sink Bail! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.